This is a car. It's been specially chosen to be destroyed because it's old, it's white, but more importantly, because it's French. The engine block is the densest part of a car. It's basically a huge lump of metal, and, well, it's very hard to melt. Lucky then, the Brainiacs have plenty of thermite, specially packed into the slow-release mechanism of a garden flower pot. A big pile on the bonnet directly over the engine block should do the trick. Time to light the fuse and give this homage to French engineering the send-off it so richly deserves. The irreversible thermite reaction begins. Within seconds, the fiery concoction eats through the bonnet, spraying molten thermite into the engine beneath. The devastation continues inside until finally a torrent of white-hot liquid metal pours out of the bottom, signalling the inevitable victory for thermite. A quick check confirms a clear path of destruction through the engine. Now that the engine is melted clean through, it seems only fitting to have a go at the petrol tank. Packed into the slow-release mechanism of a garden flower pot, the thermite is ready for action. Popped onto the roof, directly above the fuel tank, the topper, and just four feet of family car stands between the thermite and eight gallons of petrol. Light the touch paper and stand well back. The irreversible thermite reaction begins. Thermite produces a stream of molten iron which melts through the car in seconds. It's two and a half thousand degree heat igniting the expanding petrol in a devastating fireball. Leaving behind a car that won't be going very far anytime soon. So there you go.